So we're going to talk about the graph. It's been hyped up quite a bit. It's been in my comments quite a lot. So let's talk about it. When should you also invest? Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe, hit the bell button, like and comment. It is almost holiday season essentially. Um, there will not be a video on Friday for obvious reasons, but we do need to talk about certain things this week. There's a lot of things coming this week, it's pretty cool. So as I say, please do check out links below. Telegram, free to get involved. Also in my socials, please do give me a follow because I will be doing some interesting content over the course of Christmas, hopefully. So we're gonna talk about the graph, the most commented thing over the last few weeks in terms of my Twitter, my YouTube and everything else. It's like, can you talk about this please? Can you talk about this? Okay, right, yes, because everyone's FOMOing into a, a massive parabolic move. Let's talk about it. So this is not going to be fully educational in terms of what it is. I'm gonna go over it briefly. So don't go into the comments going, oh, you didn't really talk about it that much. But reason being, I would rather sit back, relax, go over it in more detail and do a, a much better job than what I'm gonna to do today. This is more about the emotional side of it, psychological thing for new investors who are gonna get wrecked by this, I think. Personal opinion, it's already happened this morning. So this is basically a whole data system. Oh, it's freaking mental, this, this is huge. I'm honestly, I quite like it, you know, I think it's quite cool, but I'm not gonna be investing it just yet. So the graph is an indexing protocol for querying networks like Ethereum. So the likes of Uniswap for it, a great example. Um, it can be, you know, anyone can build on it and publish open APIs called subgraphs, making data accessible. Basically, D E F I, DeFi. So with all this, there's a lot of information. Now, just to show you a subgraph, this is it. Just to give you an as I say, I'm not going to go full detail, but this is majorly like crazy bullish for the DeFi network, in my opinion. So you got Compound, Uniswap, obviously, Melon, <laughs> um, obviously, you know, Stablecoin for uh, Coinbase, come on to that in more detail, Mega DAO, Governance, we've got absolutely everything, right? Um, obviously, Ave, yeah, I cannot, I cannot pick anything out of, on this that's ridiculously mental. So with this, we've got to talk about why this is vitally important. It's, you got to think, right? You've got blockchain storage networks and peer-to-peer, -peer, right? They are all accessible all over the world, no matter what, right? The thing that we've got the problem with in cryptocurrency is accessing that public data and being able to encrypt it and make it nice and neat and tidy for us to all to read. This is what this does. It allows it to be processed, indexed in a correct way, so it's variable and obviously fully workable. You know, that is the big thing. And when you look at the facts of how things work in crypto, we don't have that or much of that that works with everything. This is the link that works with everything. It's very, very important you understand that. And cryptocurrency and especially companies within cryptocurrency, it's evolving all the time. Like I get told about coins all the time and I'm like, my head's exploding because it's moving that fast and to try and keep up with it, it really is hard work. And this is the thing. It's great for DeFi. It's great for marketplaces, entertainment, social, grants and philanthropy. Wow. And ultimately governance as well, which is always important in the world of this. So when you think about these apps that are allowed to connect with everything, it's very, very important. So that interoperability with blockchain is cool. That data sharing, that API, that security, that security measure is vitally important. So as you can see here, entrepreneurs are creating the next level apps to scale human coordination on the internet. That's kind of like a big thing and graph is all what this is gonna be. So an agency, your own identity data and rep reputation. It's like, these are big, obviously I've already mentioned it, interoperability, governance, security, money, contracts, smart contracts, all kinds of stuff. So the graph essentially is one big distributed ledger of a network system that works with ultimately the Ethereum network, which is mainly DeFi, which is massive in my opinion. So. You've got to be very, very much in the know of what this is. But as an investor looking at this, you've got to think long term. And I do think there is a few little problems which are going to be probably found out very, very soon in this video that I'm going to give you a bit of pointer on. So obviously you can see your live products, right? It's good to see a fully live functioning product right now off the release ramp, essentially. Boom, off we go. But there's a problem with this and I'm going to explain why. The reason why I think it's a problem is because of hype. 
people want to get involved and the new people always get crushed by the waves. There's people here within this that will have coins, the likes of Compound, the likes of Coinbase Ventures. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. This is where we need to be careful. This is where the lesson of this video comes into, not so much where it is. Now, as I've just mentioned, right, it's a fully working network. It's fully live, well functioning, right? I don't know 100% all the, the nuts and crannies on it. And as I say, if you want me to do a further video on this in full detail, like full going through it, I will. But there's things that you need to be aware of as a brand new investor of a new coin coming on the market, which is a great example to use this, right? Now, the, the team. Let's talk about the team because there's obviously you can see them all. Professors from the Foundation, uh, Ethereum Foundation, Decentralized, Orchid, uh, Molesoft, and also you got Salesforce, Muppet, Red Hat, and Barclays in there. You've got all kinds of people. Um, previous engineer at USC. There's loads of people who have obviously got some really big, good experience. But the thing that I want to talk about more is the fact of distribution, supply, demand. Now, the one thing that this has happened is Binance have listed on day one, Coinbase have listed on day one, and they're also doing a giveaway for you to earn some GRT. That is just a huge distribution network, which is why it's got a lot of eyeballs, because this is a huge distribution network on the entire Ethereum blockchain, allowing you to build on it on subgraphs, but it is also backed by the likes of Coinbase and other big entities in the market. The problem that we're gonna see is we're gonna see some very big bouts of volatility, and if you're a new investor looking to get involved in this, you might get bitten. So just be careful. So this is where this video is coming in to try and curb you. So you will have Coinbase with a big bag. You will have the likes of you know, founders of exchanges with big bags. It's not too com uncommon to see the likes of Binance listings end in a massive dump. You've gotta be careful. So this is where we're gonna talk about the chart. This has done an absolutely parabolic move, and if you got in early, Congratulations, absolutely hats off to you. By the way, you know people do mention this, but I do have hair, I'm, I'm not bold. <laughs> Got too much hair. But anyways, with that, it's vitally important that you understand the FOMO mentality, psychological levels of your own brain matter. You, you're born with the inner greed. And if I go to GRT on other charts as well, as I say, this has literally came smashing out on all the big exchanges, look at it. It's on everything, it's on Kraken already, it's on Binance, it's on Coinbase, on FTX, um, OKX, Q it's on everything, right? Not many projects get this much notori not notoriety at the start, get my words out. So when you look at the likes of the USD chart here, brand new straight off the bat, right? What people are encouraged to do is to do the systemization, to do the data, to learn about it and to get paid a little bit of crypto. It adds up, right? When you look at the fact of this growth, from the start, let's just say you bought on day one. Oh dear, that didn't work, there we go, hello. It's a monumental move and people were like on Facebook going, GRT, 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 buy it, buy it, buy it. And you should never be buying something like this, right? You should be buying it for the long term at a good price point when it's established support. That is the main point of this video when it has established a support. You could probably argue this level here might well be a support level where it's been resistance for a little bit, now it's been a little bit of support, but this is an open daily candle, well, it's a four hour candle to be fair. So you gotta be careful with this, and that's all we've got. We've only got like four days of data. Too many people are jumping in, going, oh, this is amazing, this is a brilliant bit of innovation, but the price action might never follow that innovation at the start. It will, off the immediate launch pad, but, a few days later, a few weeks later, a few months later, where can it be? This is where we need to figure out. If you're buying a support that have been established, that's a better place to be than trying to just form in at any point. So when you look at this and you think to yourself, well, oh, great, it's gone up. Oh, great. You know, yeah, it's gone up 600%. But also, you could be that person that bought at the top and then you woke up this morning with a minus 38% in your portfolio. Like, oh, my God. Imagine putting $1,000 in there. You've just lost $380 like that in a sleep awful so what do you need to do you need to be patient and just wait and see what happens nothing's going to go to the moon just be careful the reason why i say that is because when you look at this overall yeah in my opinion there's a lot of tokens fair enough i'm not 100 sure how it works in terms of circulating supply but this has been variable all morning it's been down 
22%. It's been up quite a bit. It's been crazy. You've got to be very, very careful. And this is people selling at the top and the market also correcting. The things that go up high with profit will always dump harder. It always happens. So just be careful. But overall, when you look at it, this has definitely got legs to grow. But you don't want to be uncomfortable in a position as a starting investor, as a new portfolio piece for your little crown, essentially. You've got to be careful. So what you've got to do is wait. And what the biggest thing that I would probably suggest you do is simply put a Fibonacci on here and see where it could land. Now, you've already seen here, psychological sort of factor here is that EMA has already bounced it and so is a 382. But personally, if the hype dies down and we get a few little bearish corrections in the market, and yeah, people have distributed, people have took profit and whatever and dumped on you. You may well find that, well, it may go lower. If it does go lower, great opportunity to buy. But just be careful, that formal mentality, that greed mentality will get you. But not to take anything away from it, it looks fantastic. It really does. But it's about getting in at the right time. Stuff that moons like this 600% in like four days, ooh, you've got to be very, very careful. But as I say... <clears throat> this looks pretty damn good, I'll be honest with you. And as I say, that's a network here. There's a lot of things happening already. Start straight off the bat, straight off the bat, it's already stuff happening. But please, guys, please be careful. This is investing, this is money. If you look at it in the right kind of way, just be patient, wait for it to come to levels that you're happy with, that you think it's got support and it's looking quite good for the rest of the market, go for it. But when you think about this, it has just launched on the Ethereum mainnet. We need your help to ensure the security of the protocol. They are still looking for bug bounties. If there's a big bug in there, there could be a problem. So just be careful with that. Give it a bit of time, give it a bit of maturity. Let it do its thing live in a market, in a real mainnet situation. We've often seen where coins go wrong by bugs. People dump on you and it hurts. So just be very, very careful. But with all these kind of bounties, Go for it. If, you, if you're if you a coder, go for it. Try and find any issues. Give it to the team. Make it better. You can get nice rewards. But that's some sort of problem to think, well, how good is it? If they've not got all the bug bounties sorted and done, that's the problem with buying a brand new coin. Go As I say, go on the Explorer. There's loads. But it's looking pretty good. I do like it. But yeah, today's video is done. Tomorrow's video will be another altcoin for 2021 in terms of what I think will do well. It's one that I do not hold, so a bit interesting, I know. But yeah, as I say, please be careful. Do not FOMO in. And yeah, enjoy having money. It's from love.